Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna talk with you guys today about some of the best Black Friday investments that you can make. Obviously, the Black Friday promo is coming out in the next few days, and I wanna go through some things. We're gonna look at like every single category or every single area of cards that you can invest in in this video today so that we can cover every single budget and every possible person that we can that might be watching this video. I wanna talk through things like chemistry styles. I wanna talk through things um, about like shadows, uh, hunters, those are chemistry styles. Yes, I wanna talk about icons, gold cards, in and out of packs, golds, um, informs, out of pack specials, and of course, uh, UCL live cards as well. So those are kinda of like out of pack specials, but they're kinda of their own thing because they're UCL live. So I wanna talk about some of the best investments that we can make for each budget. Now I wanna preface this by saying we don't exactly know what is happening with Black Friday yet. Is it just gonna be a normal promotion? Are we gonna have informs put back into packs like last year with the best of team of the week type uh, promote promotion? Or are we gonna have some sort of different promotion this year where we have uh, our own set, like a, basically a promo team? Uh, and right just a little bit ago, earlier this evening on Twitter, there was a um, a tweet released by a very reliable source in the FIFA community, and this is what it said. They said on Twitter, player moments with the eyes. So they know something. Obviously, this Toto Ultimate Team is a very reliable Twitter account. They know a lot of stuff uh, leaks-wise, and they know about stuff that is coming that gets put into the, into the code. So for them to tweet something out like that, it definitely means something to us so we have to take notice of that i wasn't really thinking that we were going to get a separate promo like a new promo team in packs for this promotion but after that um twitter post um and knowing how valuable the source of those guys are it seems to be a bit more likely that we might see a new promo uh like an, a new set of cards a promo set of cards in packs whatever player moments is um, on Friday. So that kind of does influence what I'm going to talk about today with some of the stuff that could be in and out of packs. But after looking through a lot of graphs from last year and after looking through a lot of footband graphs and looking at a lot of cards, we got a lot of tabs open here to talk about and to talk through. And I want to look at some cards this year. I want to look at some cards from last year and talk about a few things on what cards will move the most um, this black Friday. So first thing I want to cover is informs because these are honestly my favorite out of packs cards that have no more supply coming on the market, uh, but still have demand because they are usable, they are valuable, and people are going to have more coins after this Black Friday promo than what they came into it with because they are going to be opening packs, and that's the gist of this Black Friday promo. A lot of people open packs. Um, and spend money because they put whatever in, in packs. They have pack deals. They have the first lightning rounds of the year. The, FIFA, the game is still new. It's pretty fresh and it's hype. And that's what people do is they open packs. So that means these cards are not in packs getting supplied, but people get coins and want to buy them. More people can afford them after they get more coins and those cards end up rising because they're popular and they're meta. And those are the two words you're going to hear me say a ton today in this video. Popular and meta take a look at this graph right here this is andrew robertson he was from team of the week nine which was the team of the week right before black friday so black friday came out on the 23rd last year last year on the 23rd he was 125,000 coins he was not put back into packs he was up a lot from when he was in team of the week um the week before that but he went up to 123k he was basically he was 123k on black friday look where he goes Literally a week later, he's all the way up at 185,000 coins. That's a pretty good return on your investment. You're buying a player for 125K and he's going up 60,000 coins in a week. So he's basically, um, yeah, that's like a 50% rise in price from 120 to 180. Uh, 60,000 coins up is a really, really crazy rise in a form like that. Uh, another inform that I want to look at, right back Kenny Lala. Take a look at his price on Black Friday. It's again, higher than it was when he was in packs. Uh, but 54,000 coins, a week later, he's up at 79, 80,000 coins. So this car went from 50K all the way up to 80K. That's a pretty good return on your investment as well. And I think that was the last inform. No, one more inform, Zhao Cancelo. This card was, look at this rise, man. 
Look at this rise. This is the right back that everybody used last year in the Serie A. The link to Ronaldo was huge. Uh, and if you're using a Serie A right back, this was your guy. He goes from 182,000 coins up to 227. So that's a really nice rise on that card as well. And you notice something about all three of these cards. All three of these cards uh, are outside backs. And all three of these cards at that time last year during Black Friday were the best of their nature in the game for their league and for their position. The best right back, the best left back, and the best uh, other right back in the game. So if I wanna look at some team of the weeks and think about cards this year, like out of out of packs in forms, what are some of the best right backs, left backs, or honestly just best in forms in this game um, in terms of something that an in form is something that, you know, maybe somebody's rocking gold Kyle Walker in their squad. They're opening a bunch of packs for Black Friday. And boom, they have a lot more coins they can go out and spend. So they go pick up the Inform Kyle Walker, who is uh, 250,000 coins more. Right now, Kyle Walker, this Inform is 290, which is actually really high, but he's usually around 270. Um, this could be a card, it's, it's a little bit on the expensive side, and there's a lot of other right back options in the game. So I don't think this would be a good riser. I think it's a little bit too expensive. There's a lot of cards out there that could be massive risers. And the number one man that comes to mind for me, because of all the cards we've had this year in foot with the PKSBC, Varan, Langley, and um, some of those Barcelona links being some of the most important links in FIFA, I love this Semedo card. He was already 148,000 at one point during the year on the PlayStation, down here right now at 107,000 coins. Uh, this could be a masterful out of packs investment, in my opinion. I think he's going to be a big time riser out of packs. I think he could get back up to the 140, 150 range because people love Barcelona this year. Barcelona is a huge, a huge link. And honestly, I've seen a lot of people that play this card on the right side at right back as well, not at left back. They play him on the right since he is right footed. So they play him off chem there. So that's one of my favorite cards that I think could be a best, one of the best out of packs in forms this year. And then if we look at some of the other team of the weeks, a lot of the stuff that rose last year was just stuff that people liked to use. I mentioned this in my video, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, we started talking about Informs. Inform Fabinho, 183,000 coins. He's in a ton of teams. I like that card. I even like Inform Saul, uh, as uh, you know, a lot of people are rocking La Liga teams this year with PK, with Semedo, with De Young, um, other out of packs Informs. Havertz, I'm a fan of around 100K. Even a guy like Ndidi, that's, that's somebody that a lot of people would upgrade to in their teams. Um, just pick out some of the positions that are rare. Rarity is huge here as well. That's why outside backs are pretty rare. There's not as many outside back informs. This year we do have a few. I mean, we have some right backs in the Prem. Alexander Arnold is one of them. We also have uh, the main man, Ricardo Perea, from this last team of the week up here. I'm actually a big fan of this Ricardo Perea card. If you can get him for around the middle 50,000 range, 55K, I'm a huge fan of this card. He was 55K on Sunday last week, up to 67, almost a 70K, back down. Uh, and he's kind of chilling around the 55 range. You can find him during the day on bid there as well. So uh, that's a really good card to look and invest in as well. And th again, the reason why I like the informs is they're out of packs and people want to get them in their teams. We have dynamic images and boosted stats, and people want to pay for those cards. Tellez, Robertson, Nine Goal, and all cards that are going to be probably really solid risers out of Black Friday. Now, let's talk about gold cards. I mean, there's going to be two different types of gold cards that we look at here. Gold cards that are in packs that are just meta, very popular. Uh, guys like Mane, Virgil van Dijk, Varane, Leng Lei, um, maybe a guy like uh, Aubameyang as well. These guys are going to rise. They're going to get packed. It's going to happen because a lot of people are going to be opening packs. Again, these cards are going to be in packs. That makes them a little bit tricky to judge, but they're super high rated and there's more people that want to buy those cards on this game than want to sell them and want and are going to be packing them at that same time. So there's going to be more buying power and less supply because they're not going to get as packed as much, but more people want to go buy them. That means the price is going to go up as people go and keep buying those cards off of the market. Varan right here last year as an example. On Black Friday the 23rd, he was 203,000 coins. He went up to 236K in a week. 236K. So he went up 30,000 coins for a French center back. Varan this year I think has a great opportunity to rise uh, as well as a very linkable and a very popular center back. I would put Van Dyke in this category. Um, so that would be something that you can look at as well. Even a guy like Sadio Mane. I know a lot of people look at this card because he is very, very good in this game. 
and there's a huge price discrepancy between these two cards, his inform and his um, road to the final. This card around 300,000 coins or even a little under 300k is a fantastic buy. I think you could very easily rise back up to 400k or at least 375. So this card going from 300 to almost 370, 390, 400,000 coins, I think is very, very possible. A lot of people want him in their teams. He is very good in this year's game. And then we want to talk about out of packs golds as well. Now, you might not remember this, but last year, Alexandro's gold card was put out of packs because of the phenomenon best of team of the week best of team of the week it's a lot of ofs in there um but when you take a popular card like that and you put the inform in packs uh, and you leave the gold card out of packs it creates a situation where um people have to go and buy that gold card and so many people want that gold card for their teams that the price really, really takes off. So right now, Alexandro is chilling around 42,000 coins. I don't think he's going to go out of packs this year because he doesn't have a special card. Unless EA, again, runs that player moments promotion and maybe Alexandro gets a player moments card or whatever that means, um, then you would see this card go out of packs and, and Alexandro uh, inform or whatever player moments card would be something that we'd have to evaluate that situation with. But look what happened last year when he went out of packs. You see this spike right here? Yeah, that's because of Black Friday. Black Friday, the 23rd, 105,000 coins. Nobody knew that he was going to be going out of packs. The man goes out of packs. He goes to 130, 100,000 to 130,000 coins in a week. That's, an, again, a very, very massive rise for a card like this. An 80, 86 last year. He was an 86 rated card. Uh, but again, he was the he was the left back that you were going to use in the Serie A. And he again is this this year he is the left back that you're going to use in the Serie A. He is Brazilian. He does have some competition from Alex Tellez is in form, but still in terms of the uh left backs in the Brazil and in the um Calcio A territory, this is that is your guy. Alexandro is your guy. This is his literally, this is his only competition in Tellez, and Tellez does not link as well as Sandro does, unless you're using two Brazilians. So Sandro is probably going to be a decent look this year, um, even as a gold card that will be rising. But if he does go out of packs, that's the kind of rise that you can see on these cards. If it goes out of packs, um, some of the cards, like if we do get a player moments promo, we're not going to know which cards you're going to get in until when they release the promo and when they release the content. So maybe somebody like Musa Sissoko goes out of packs. That could be an interesting scenario. Maybe somebody like Lucas Mora gets a player moments card. I don't know if they're going to do like Champions League related moments cards. If this is really like a player moments based on a uh, an event that happened in real life. If Lucas Mora gets a... Um, I know Lucas Mora is lower rated. But this is still a very popular card in this game. 11,000 coins. The man was 60K at one point. He was still holding at 30,000 coins uh, a couple weeks ago. And he's been slowly dropping uh, basically since like Scream, a little after Scream. And you see live too. Uh, but he is down here at 12,000 coins. Let's say he goes out of packs. Uh, he still would probably be panic sold a little bit, but that would be a card that a ton of people would go after. And there would be a huge price difference between whatever this moment's Lucas Mora card would be and the new special card and his gold card. So you might actually see this rise out of packs. Gold cards that are out of packs that are super in demand, super popular, um, especially if we don't have any uh, forthcoming or knowledge of them going out of packs, that's a huge opportunity to rise. That's kind of a split second decision that you're going to have to make. And maybe if you have some coins available on Friday, when we see what's coming out, then you can make that decision then. Gold cards now that are out of packs. I want to talk about this one last second. Hyun Min Sun. 432,000 coins on Sunday. People thought he was getting in Team of the Week after his performance. He did. He is now in Team of the Week with this left mid card right here. I'm a little bit interested in this one because Hyoman's son, obviously people have invested in him. He's 30,000 coins up from where he was on Sunday. That means people have bought this card because they know it's going out of packs and they think he's going to continue to rise. Very, very reasonable. Very, very reasonable considering he was 600K uh, a couple weeks ago. But this inform is left mid, and this inform is going to be in packs this entire weekend with all the pummeling of packs upon packs upon packs for Black Friday. I could see this inform. It's 850,000 coins right now. Hasn't been hit with Week and League rewards yet. Watch this card after Week and League rewards. If he drops another 100k, if he goes to like 700k flat, I would be very, 
very scared about this gold sun and it might drop with some panic because the left mid inform could drop down below very close maybe not very close but getting even closer and closer to the gold sun's price range i know they're different positions but that would still freak some people out um in this game so just kind of watch that but um a lot of the gold cards this year if we look at team of the week number 11 which would be the cards that are guaranteed to be out of packs this weekend during black friday um, wow, Kimmich was actually on the market at 150, but none of these gold cards to me are really super duper meta. If you think of like the gold versions of all of these cards, are people going to put them in their weekend league teams? Mares, not really. He has three special cards already. Kimmich, not really as a right back. Higuain, no. Modric is the only other one that might be semi usable as a 90 rated gold card in this game. And I just don't see a lot of people using him. I really don't see a lot of people using him. He's 47K. He's up a lot right now because of the icon SBC, the base icon. So I just don't see a lot of people using anybody else other than Sun as a gold card that rises this week out of pack. So that's talking about gold cards. Now let's switch back over here and look at icons. Uh, this year, it's a little bit different with the icons because uh, if you're on a higher budget, I would not recommend buying an icon uh, unless you're buying it for your team. That's for a lot of these upper tier icons and for even some of the, the informs that I've mentioned today, you know, I wouldn't invest in that stuff unless you are, you're, you're really ro rolling in the dough. And even then I would make a team out of it because a lot of the stuff that we're looking at so far with the informs, you can invest in those even if you don't have a team. You can throw those in your transfer list. Ricardo Pereira is at 55K. You can chuck that on your transfer list and let it sit and let it rise, right? It's 50,000 coins. You buy 10 of them, you know, 500K whoop de doo that's not that much. But 500K versus 1.5 mil is a lot of coin difference. So the icons, I mean, they're going to get packed. There's going to be lightning rounds. There's going to be fresh ones that come onto the market. But a lot of these icons, if it's meta, if it's like a Zola, a Del Piero, or really top tier, like a Dal Gleish, or a Pele, or a Eusebio, those types of guys, they're not going to have much a, of a buy window when they do come into packs. They are going to shoot up and they're going to rise and get expensive right away. Um, this might be an actually decent price for Dog Leash. 1881. There's a bid here for 1860. That's interesting. Don't know this guy's price that well, but if you're looking to get one of these cards, you want to act fast and get it as soon as you can. If we have any panic selling, even leading into the promo, if you see open bids on these icons, maybe try to snatch on some of those because um, that's going to be a lot of people. There's there's not very many icons on the market, and there's still going to be a lot of people gunning for these cards to buy them and to purchase them on the market, especially a guy like Hullet as well, Middle Hullet. Um, one of the best cards in this game. Yes, he's 6 million coins, but... Um, his price, you might see an undercut, maybe like a 5.5 mil undercut. Other than that though, I mean, it's going to be few and far between on the undercuts. It's going to be so rare to get packed. And for some of these icons on the buyback in this next week after Black Friday, if the promo goes according to plan, you will see some people buy these cards at crazy, crazy prices because they have coins. They have plenty of coins to be able to put into players like this. They don't care what it costs. They pack somebody, they have coins, they're willing to go pay the price for that player that they want um, from the Black Friday packs that they have open. So that's kind of my stuff on icons. I mean, a lot of the icons are going to rise. If it's an icon like somebody who who, who you're not going to use, like Baby Makalele, I mean, not many people are going to use this card. It is an interesting one because you could play him at CDM and for some chemistry reasons, you could throw him at right, at right mid uh, and it would be an okay card. But you know, not many people are going to use this card. You're probably going to see his price drop. Maybe a guy like uh, Goalkeeper Layman, uh, Baby and Zagi, stuff like that. Baby Deco. You're going to see those drop in price. Those aren't really investable, in my opinion. And then I want to talk about some of the lower budget stuff as well. I know I haven't talked about UCL Lives and Screams yet. I want to save that for the end. But uh, lower budget stuff that all you guys can get in on. And I would highly recommend... If you can't think of anything else to do or find any deals and it's super duper hard for you, get on the bids on all sorts of different items. Shadow chemistry style cards. For the first time ever in FIFA, EA has increased the price range on these shadows. They're 8,900, 8, about 9,000 coins right now on the market at the moment. I'm telling you, when these cards, when all the packs that are open on Friday, there is going to be so many of these shadow cards popping up on the market. It's going to be insane. Uh, if you're good at sniping or if you, you know, can snipe really fast on a lot of these cards, 
you're gonna have a heyday getting these cards off the market. People are gonna be listing these for like 5K, 4,000 coins. They're gonna be undercut after undercut after undercut. Um, and even on bids as well, you're gonna see so many people just list these up because it's shadows and hunters for this, this year are crazy high because of the price range updates and people are still paying the price for them. But whenever you have big pack openings like this, you see the chemistry styles and the position change cards uh, take a hit in price because there's just so many of them being packed and it takes a while, right? For somebody to need to say, oh, I need to go buy a chem style to put on this card when all the all of them are getting packed and put on the market. It takes a bit for that de demand to start to outweigh the supply that comes in right away. So you can stock your club with these. Honestly, you can buy you can buy a thousand of these hunters and shadow cards because there's no limit. You can store them all in the club. They're chemistry styles. You don't have to put them on your transfer list. That is a bonus about these. I would also throw squad fitnesses in that equation as well and the position changes that are expensive. I don't really know much about position change trading. I don't do a lot about it. Uh, or actually with the consumable card. I don't know which ones are expensive, but you can do some research there and figure out which ones are expensive. Maybe like center forward to cam, figure out which ones uh, are expensive and, and snipe those and bid on those during lightning rounds as well. So that's pr basically for any budget. And then one other thing that's on any budget, uh, and it, you know, you might make fun of this a little bit because if you guys know who Matt HD Gamer is, he released his market crash video today on FIFA and it talked a lot about um, mass buying and mass bidding on 83 rateds and 84 rateds um, during all the pack onslaught during Black Friday, which, you know, is a very good method, but it was just kind of interesting to hear Matt HG Gamer say that. It is a good method to stock your club with these cards. And of course, with the Team of the Week SBC, which he mentioned, it came out last year on Saturday. So the second day of Black Friday promo, we did get a Team of the Week uh, guaranteed SBC. So yes, is that there's going to be a lot of people out there doing it now since Matt HG Gamer talked about it and he's and he has two million subscribers on YouTube and he said, hey, this is what you should do, um, and you're going to have a lot of people out there doing it now. So you might have some competition, but it honestly is a pretty good method. There's going to be so many packs open, so many cards are going to be out, regardless of whether it's SBCs or not. Hop on the bids on the cards that you can. Just no decent price ranges for a lot of these cards. Jorginho would probably be a pretty solid card to get a bid. A center mid, a center back, a right mid, a left mid, um, or a right back or a left back is gonna be, those are the positions that you wanna really focus on if you're gonna mass buy one player of 84s. I'm not even sure that I would recommend that. You see right now that Jorginho is 1.8K. Uh, he has not been 1.8K since basically the beginning of November which has been EA trying to suck a lot of coins out of the market and out of our clubs to put in for SBC. So maybe you get this guy on bid like 1.2, 1.3 thousand coins. That's actually a really solid buy for a on bid Black Friday price. Uh, Miranda makes it into a lot of SBC solutions because he's Brazilian. This would be another good card that you could look at again. He's been pretty high recently because of SBCs, but get on the bids. And then 84s as well. This is an option from this year. Javi Martinez, he's been like 2.7K all year. This is one of my favorite 84s to stock with if I'm ever going to mass buy one, which is very rare. But if I'm ever going to buy one in a mass um, quantity, this would be the guy to do it. Last year, you can see what he did during Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday was right here. Second day of Black Friday, 4.4K. After that, Team of the Week SBC was out. The man went to 6,000 coins. So would I go on a sign and would I go like crazy, crazy bidding on some of these 83s? No, I would not because there's going to be a lot of people that do that. And especially since the Mad HG Gamer video, uh, there's going to be even more people doing that. What I would do though, is I would do a club stock and even add a couple to your transfer list. Uh, if you really feel the need to get on the bids, there's going to be so many cards that even if there's a lot of uh, competition, you will be able to rotate from card to card. Um, that you'll probably still be able to steal some bids for a thousand coins and some 83s and really cheap stuff like that because there's just going to be so many packs opened uh, and it's going to be impossible for everybody to get on every single bid. So 83s, 84s, 85s, I mean 86s, 87s, 88s as well. I would just do a club stock. I wouldn't go crazy with them. Just do a club stock. It all depends on what the promo is and we're going to get more information on that hopefully today on Thursday. That's why I kind of made this video today. I want to encompass basically everything in this video and talk about best investments that you can make on Thursday, the day before Black Friday, to keep it in your minds and keep it fresh, just in case we do get some information about the promo on Thursday today. Last card type that I want to talk about, and I saved it for last because I don't think you guys should be investing in these, 
based on what I see last year and based on how the cards look this year. This is FIFA 19 UCL Live. Now, a lot of these cards, a lot of the graphs look like this. They came out of packs like two weeks before, or they came into packs two weeks before Black Friday. And last year, these cards just went straight up. These cards were way too cheap last year because EA supplied them so much more than they have supplied the road to the final cards this year. Let me go actually show you the road to the final squad from this year and uh, talk about it right now. Because right now, this road to the final squad compared to this squad, it, it's a world of difference. The player selection for this year is fantastic. Last year, player selection was solid as well. But the last year cards were supplied so much more than this year's cards are. Uh, even like this Militao card. This Mil I mean, think about the guys that we got last year. I mean, we got Kempembe, who was a pretty solid center back. Dobbins and Sanchez was a pretty solid center back. Nothing to the hype that Militao is. But Dobbins and Sanchez last year was 166k uh, in packs. And how much was Eder Militao? Eder Militao in packs was 400k, and he's up 200k out of packs. These cards are so freaking rare. If you look at this Kempembe graph from last year, where it just rose straight up, and you look at this, and a lot of the, the graphs look like this for last year for UCL cards, I don't think it's going to depict that same trend this year. Now, there's probably going to be some cards in here that do rise. Some cards that just get too low that will rise because they're used in a lot of teams. But right now, as I see them, they're just very, very expensive. I would not touch a lot of them. Some of them will rise a little bit, again, as I said, but I don't just don't think they're very good or best investments for this promo. I still feel sneaky about Militao. So many people want that card in their team. If you're somebody who wants it in your team and you have to buy it, please wait and see what happens on Friday with the, with the promotion. Hopefully we see a little bit of panic selling and that card price can drop for you. Um, but I'm still a little bit scared, man, because uh, I feel like these are so overpriced and so high that EA could resupply them at some point, or um, EA has something up their sleeve about those cards. So I wouldn't really mess with those. I honestly wouldn't. I would try to steer clear of them and just watch them. Um, we'll start to talk more about those as we near the, um, the, si the sixth match day of Champions League. Scream cards. Basically, I should have included these when I was talking about informs as well. These are basically just like informs or even better. These are less supply than informs for most of them. James Rodriguez for 248. If that is up on the market right now, that is disgraceful because that is a very, very cheap price. Uh, 250k for James Rodriguez is a very, very, very good deal. And if this is up on Fupin or on the market right now, I'm gonna get it, which it is not. James is cheapest as 259. So. That was an undercut right there. But these cards are out of packs. Again, they are very desired. They're used in a lot of teams. But just focus on the good positions and the good players in the meta league. So we're talking Ro Magnoli, Odomendi, Deli Alley, Bernard, James, Muller. Those would be from the first set. I wouldn't buy anybody else other than that. Second set, this Scream Firmino card is one of the most in-demand cards. I don't know if there's a promo card this year that will really drop this card's price at all. Look at, he's literally been uptrending the entire time since he's been on a packs. If you see a panic sell on this card, if he gets back down like lower 700s, that is a full send from me because this card is going to be used for a long time in FIFA. This is a huge, huge card that they put out. Uh, Insignia is very popular as well. Payet, I would throw in there. Even Adama Traore has maintained a very high price just because of his pace. So that's how I feel about, I tried to cover everything, boys. I tried to cover just about everything in terms of investments for this promo, investments uh, for Black Friday based on whatever budget that you're at. Of course, if you're somebody who's on like 100,000 coins, investing for this promo probably isn't going to be your thing. I mean, get some 83s in your club, bid on some of those, but just try to trade. There's going to be plenty of opportunities where you can trade inside of this promo as well because there's going to be stuff fluctuating all over the place. There's going to be packs. There's going to be SBCs. There's going to be objectives. There's going to be so many things in this SBC section that individual requirements will go up for. Even stock your clubs with like some uh, SBC fodder stuff that's inflated usually. Silvers. If you're a silver trader, I didn't talk about silvers. If you want to trade with all the new league SBCs that we've, ha that we've had come out, these cards are going to be uh, plentiful on the market. There's going to be tons of silvers packed because we have those Electrum player packs that people will be opening up. You'll see maybe some ch silvers from like League One that are really expensive right now. If you're a silver trader, look at some of those. They're going to get packed. A lot of supply coming out for those. And that presents a massive opportunity on the market as well to trade with 
those. Thank you for hanging in with this very long video today. I wanted to cover so many bases and hopefully you guys got your answers, your questions answered or answers to your questions. That's what I was trying to say about what you can invest in with this promo. That's kind of the guidelines for all the separate card types. If you have any in, uh, more in-depth questions or maybe a question about is this card meta or is it a good investment, definitely drop uh, a comment down below or a question and ask me there and I'll try to get to you if I can. We are so close to this Black Friday promo promotion being here. Again, keep your eyes out for whatever content could come today, Thursday at 6 p.m. UK and just make sure that uh, EA is not telling us something about Black Friday that we really do need to know. Um, and if there is something, I'll try to get it in your guys' hands and talk about it and talk you through things as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up. Again, comment down below if you have questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.